curiosity challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Patman. Hello. Oxford plays Cambridge tonight with a place in the second round for whichever team is ahead at the gong. The losing team could get a chance to play again if their score happened to be among the four highest losing scores from these first round matches. So our advice to both teams is to rattle through as many questions as possible, ideally getting them right, of course. <laughs> Corpus Christi College Oxford has appeared three times since 1994 on this programme and won the championship with a formidable lineup in 2005. Founded during the reign of Henry VIII, it has one of Oxford's smallest student bodies with around 375 undergraduates and graduates. Former corpuscles include one of the leading lights of the Oxford movement, John Keeble, the philosopher Sir Isaiah Berlin, the long-serving editor of The Guardian, C.P. Scott, and the politicians Ed and David Miliband. With an average age of 21, let's meet the Corpus Christi team. Hello, I'm Tom Fleet. I'm from Pendoggett in Cornwall and I study English. Hi, I'm Emma Johnson. I'm from North London and I study medicine. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Nikhil Venkatesh. I'm from Derby and I read philosophy, politics and economics. Hi, I'm Adam Wright. I'm from Winnish in Berkshire and I'm studying for a DPhil in physics. Now, playing them is the team representing Jesus College Cambridge, who last made an appearance on this programme in 2012. The college was founded in 1496 on the site of a 12th century Benedictine nunnery and now has around 760 students, so around twice the size of their opponents tonight. Alumni include the first Protestant Archbishop of Canterbury, Thomas Cranmer, the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge, the writer Lawrence Stern and the novelist Nick Hornby. With an average age of 20, let's meet the Jesus team. Hiya, I'm Sam Fairbrother. I'm from Greater Manchester and I'm currently studying for my finals in education with drama and English. Hi, I'm Rosa Price. I'm from East London and I'm studying English. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Theo Morris Clark. I'm from London and I'm reading for an MPhil in economics. Hello, I'm Daniel Petridis. I'm from Petswood in Kent and I'm reading for an MPhil in political thought and intellectual history. Well, the rules are the same as ever. Starter questions are worth 10 points, must be answered individually. Bonus sets are worth 15 points, and on those you can confer. There's a five-point fine if you interrupt a starter question incorrectly. Fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. What literary concept did Aristotle describe as the imitation of an action with incidents arousing pity and fear uh, wherewith to... A Jesus Fairbrother. Tragedy. Correct. Right, your bonuses are on drinking in Shakespeare, Jesus. In Twelfth Night, which two characters are berated for singing drunkenly late at night by Malvolio, who accuses them of making an alehouse of my lady's house? Andrew Agutique. Nominate Price. Uh, Andrew Agutique and Toby Belch. Correct. Which character says of the drinking habits of the English that they are most potent in potting? Your Dane, your German and your swag-bellied Hollander are nothing to your English. He says this while attempting to get Cassio drunk. Iago? Iago? Correct. In which play does a character known only as Boy provide a contrast to the eponymous king by declaring during a battle, would I were in an alehouse in London? I would give all my fame for a pot of ale and safety. Henry V. Correct. <laughs> Ten points at stake for this starter question. Which physicist made important contributions to the understanding of thermodynamics, telegraphy, magnetism and electricity? Born William Thompson in Belfast in 1824. Corpus Christi Wright. Lord Kelvin. Lord Kelvin is correct. Your bonuses are on properties owned by the Landmark Trust Charity, which aims to rescue important buildings that would otherwise be lost. Firstly, for five points, associated with Richard Arkwright, North Street in Cromford, is described as the earliest piece of planned industrial housing in the world. It lies within the Derwent Valley Mills World Heritage Site in which English county? Derbyshire. Correct. Described as a rare and noble survivor of a style that was in fashion after Napoleon's campaign in Egypt and as making even Brighton Pavilion look delicate, the Egyptian house is in which town on Mounts Bay where the English Channel meets the Atlantic Ocean? Penzance? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Penzance? Correct. 
A property in the Chateau of Hougoumont stands on which battlefield in the Low Countries? Yeah. Waterloo. Waterloo? It is at the battlefield of Waterloo, yes. Ten points for this. <laughs> which Asian country's national holidays include respect for the aged day? Corpus Christi Fleet. Japan. Japan is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on life sciences, Corpus Christi, this time. In each case, give the term from the definition. All three answers include the word element plasm from the Greek for to shape. Firstly, in biology, what term denotes the part of the cell that's external to the nuclear membrane and contains the organelles, including the mitochondria and the lysosomes? Cytoplasm. Correct. Cytoplasm can be differentiated into endoplasm, which contains most of the cell's structures, and the more dense outer material primarily concerned with cell movement. By what term is that known? Ectoplasm. I was going to say ectoplasm. Isn't it exoplasm? No, it's ectoplasm. Yeah? OK. Ectoplasm? Ectoplasm is correct. Found in the cytoplasm of many bacteria, what extrachromosomal genetic element plays a key role in procedures such as gene therapy research? I need a seven-letter term here. Plasmid. Plasmid is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points at stake for this starter question. Bert and Ernie were the nicknames given to examples of what type of subatomic particle detected by the Ice Cube instrument at the South Pole in 2011 and 2012. Both had exceptionally high energies, around 10 to the 15 electron volts, and were thought to have originated in deep space. Corpus Christi Wright. Neutrinos. Neutrinos is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses this time, Corpus Christi, are on a shared surname. Name the person from the description, giving the first name and the surname in each case. Firstly, a diamond magnate who became Prime Minister of Cape Colony in 1890. He gave his name to the region that is now Zambia and Zimbabwe. Cecil Rhodes. Cecil Rhodes is correct. Secondly, a Yorkshire all-rounder who took more first-class wickets than any other bowler. He's also the oldest man ever to have played in a Test match, aged 52 on his last appearance in 1930. Wilfred Rhodes. Correct. And finally, the founder of the Fashion and Textile Museum in London. As a fashion designer, her clients included Freddie Mercury and Diana, Princess of Wales. And in 2010, she was installed as Chancellor of the University for the Creative Arts. Edwina Rhodes. No, that's Zandra Rhodes. We're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you'll see a graphic representation of two sets of integers, A and B, with a third set, C, formally defined below them. For ten points, I want you to identify the integers contained in set C. Uh, Jesus Morris Clark. Two and three. Correct. So, for your picture bonuses, three more exercises in basic set theory. In each case, you'll see some more graphic representation of sets of integers. I want you to give me the integer or integers contained in the set formally defined below them. Firstly, set C. What does the slash I don't know. I don't know what the slash means. Um, I'll just go for things in only one of them. Yeah, you just roll with it. One, four and five. No, it's just one. Oh. <laughs> Secondly, set D. What's the triangle? No idea. See? No idea. Um, so it's the ones that also have C in Six. Try six. Two and four. Four's not in A. Try six. All right. Six. No, it's four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, set C. All of them. One, two, three, four, five. Correct. Yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. In internet usage, for what does the abbreviation TLDR stand? Corpus Christi Johnson. Too long, didn't read. Correct. <laughs> Your bonuses are on chemical elements, Corpus Christi. With the atomic number 22, which element has a naturally occurring dioxide that's widely used in paint, sunscreen and toothpaste? This compound occurs in minerals such as brookite and rutile. Yeah. Zinc? No, it's titanium. With the atomic number 30, which element forms an impervious coating of its oxide on exposure to the atmosphere, making it more resistant to corrosion than, for example, iron? Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. 
Aluminium. No, that is zinc. Mm. And finally, with the atomic number 82, which element has an oxide known as litharge, which is extensively used in the production of glass? Silicon. What's silicon? Silicon. 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 Sil I should know this. This is... Oh, that's my degree. Um, <laughs> Galbraith? It was J.K. Galbraith, yes. Which US journalist's 1972 work, The Best and the Brightest, recounts how some leaders of industry were employed by the presidential administration and attempted to apply what they had learned at the Ford Motor Company to the Vietnam War? I was reading that. Was the other day? Day? No, no idea. Is it going to be Woodward? Yeah. 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 Okay. I don't know. Woodward? No, it was David Halberstam. And finally, the author of The Black Swan, which former hedge fund manager had earlier emphasised the role of chance in the financial markets in his 2001 book, Fooled by Randomness? Oh, he's got, like, three names. Um, like Arabic, Spanish, no, no, Persian. Um, I don't know. You're in your own. Talib? Tal Nicholas Talib is correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. In different spellings, what diminutive of a male given name appears in the titles of an 1892 farce by Brandon Thomas, a traditional Scots song about the Jacobite movement, two children's books by Roald Dahl... Corpus Christi Venkatesh. Danny? No, I'm afraid you lose five points. <laughs> Jesus Price. Charlie? Charlie is correct, yes. <laughs> You get a set of bonuses this time, Jesus College, on the author and campaigner Arundhati Roy. Firstly, Arundhati Roy won the Booker Prize in 1997 for which novel set largely in the Indian state of Kerala? God of Small Things. The God of Small Things. The God of Small Things. Correct. In 2002, Roy was briefly imprisoned during her campaign against the Narmada Dam project, located in which state of northwest India? West Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh? No, it's Gujarat. And finally, before his election as Indian Prime Minister in 2014, whom did Roy describe as the most militaristic and aggressive candidate? Narendra Modi. Correct. Ten points for this. First published in 1791, which book was Thomas Paine's response to Edmund Burke? Jesus Morris Clark. The Rights of Man. Correct. Your bonuses this time, Jesus College, are on island groups that comprise the biogeographical region known as Macaronesia, a term coined from the Greek for Isles of the Blessed. On a similar latitude to San Francisco, which archipelago includes the islands of Santa Maria, Pico and Flores? Indonesia? No, it's the Azores. Secondly, Circeal and Malmsey are varieties of fortified wine produced in which island of Macaronesia? Madeira. Correct. Named after the westernmost promontory of Africa, which island group became independent of Portugal in 1975? The, the Verde Islands? Oh, yeah. The Cape Verde Islands? Correct. Right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear part of a recording of a film score. For ten points, I want you to identify the film for which the score was written. Jesus Fairbrother. Um, uh, uh, up. Up is correct, yes. <laughs> That score for Pixar's Up won the Academy Award in 2010. Your music bonuses are three more Pixar film scores. I want you to identify the film in each case. Firstly, for five. Oh, yeah. The Incredibles. Correct. Secondly. That is 
it's either it's like despicable or me or is it the what, what's the one? Um, like it, it seems nefarious. Okay. So, um, despicable me. Despicable me. No, it's Wally. Oh. And finally. Finding Nemo. Correct, that gives you the lead. Right, ten points for this. Pearl and foxtail are common names of species of what food grain? A staple of much of Asia, Russia and... Corpus Christi Johnson. Barley? No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Staple of much of Russia, Asia and Western Africa. It is eaten as a flatbread or porridge or in a similar way to rice. One of you made bars, Jesus? Jesus Fairbrother. Is it polenta? No, it's millet. Ten points for this. Salamanders and newts both belong to which class of animals? It's named... Corpus Christi Wright. Amphibians. Amphibia is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on United States history. Firstly, for five points, formerly a commander in the Mexican-American War, which US president died in 1850, only 16 months after taking office? Taylor? It was Zachary Taylor. In 1835, Taylor's daughter, Sarah, married which future head of state? He was accused of treason and imprisoned in 1865, although he never stood trial. Mm. Future head of state? Oh. I can't understand. Lee? No, it was Jefferson Davis. And finally, Taylor and his successor, Millard Fillmore, were both elected on the ticket of which political party, named after a British grouping opposed to royal prerogatives? The Wicks. The Wicks. Correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. Thomas Hardy described which of his novels as a deadly war waged between flesh and spirit. It describes the title character's doomed relationship with the... Corpus Christi Venkatesh. Tess of the Durbervilles. I'm afraid you lose five points with the barmaid Arabella Don and his cousin Sue Bridehead. Ah. Jesus Price. Jude the Obscure. Correct. <laughs> so you go back into the lead. Your bonuses are on physics, Jesus. When an atom of potassium 40 undergoes radioactive decay to form calcium 40, it most commonly emits an anti neutrino and what other subatomic particle? Proton? No, it's an electron or a beta particle. This is one form of beta decay. What are two other forms, both also displayed by potassium-40? We have no idea. They're <laughs> positron emission and electron capture. And finally, comprising about 1% of the Earth's atmosphere, what isotope is formed when potassium-40 undergoes positron emission or electron capture? Is it argon? Isotopes, isotope, um, mm -hmm. no, um, argon 17. No, it's Argon 40. Bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> right, ten points for this. In a test match against Pakistan in October 2015, which batsman occupied the crease for a record? Jesus Petridis. Alistair Cook. Alistair Cook is correct. These bonuses are on sculptures. Bequeathed to the Royal Academy in the early 19th century, the Tadei Tondo of around 1504 is the only marble sculpture in Great Britain by which Renaissance artist? Benini? No, it's Michelangelo. Michelangelo's sculptures, known as the Dying Slave and the Rebellious Slave, now in the Louvre, were originally intended for the tomb of which pope who died in 1513? Julius II? Correct. In 1972, the Hungarian-born geologist Laszlo Toth achieved notoriety when he vandalised which sculpture by Michelangelo, now in St. Peter's Basilica? Uh, La Paeta. Correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. From the Latin for dissolve, what term denotes the property of a chemical to absorb moisture from the atmosphere until it forms a liquid solution? Uh, Jesus Petridis. Hydrosoluble? Nope. Corpus Christi Wright. Hygroscopic. No, it's deliquescence. Ten points for this. 
In computing, which logic gate has output zero only when all its inputs are zero? Otherwise, it's output... Jesus Morris Clark. Not. No, I'm afraid you lose five points. Otherwise, its output is one. Corpus Christi Wright. Or. Or is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on the early 19th century politician George Eden. Which city in New Zealand is named after the title of nobility held by George Eden, who was first Lord of the Admiralty in the early 1830s? Auckland. Correct. Eden later became Governor General of India, but was recalled in 1842 after a catastrophic intervention into which country in an attempt to forestall Russian influence? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. Correct. Eden's unmarried sisters, Fanny and Emily, the latter a noted author, accompanied him to India. In which city is the park and major test cricket ground that bears their surname? Uh, this is Calcutta, right? Eden Gardens. Yeah, yeah. Right. Calcutta? Calcutta or Kolkata is correct. Well, it's a very evenly matched game, and we're taking a picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a silhouette portrait of a composer depicted at the mercy of a music critic. For ten points, I want you to identify the composer who's the figure on the right. Jesus Petridis. Beethoven. No, anyone like to buzz from Corpus? Corpus Christi Johnson. List. No, it's Wagner, so picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake if you put your fingers on the buzzers. Now, which Italian composer's opera Aureliana in Palmyra premiered in 1813? Two years later, he reused the overture for Elizabeth, Queen of England, and the following year used it again for the Barber of Seville. Jesus Price. Rossini. Rossini's correct, yes. <laughs> You get the lead. Now, you'll recall we saw a picture of Wagner and the critic Edward Hanslick... It was by the Austrian artist Otto Beuler. He specialised in silhouette portraits of notable musical figures of his day. Your picture bonuses are three more of his portraits of composers. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, who's this? Bruckner? Debussy? Debussy? No, it's Brahms. Secondly, who's this? List. List is correct, yes, depicted there as the Abbey List. And finally. Is that Marla? Is that Andy Marla with the conductor? Yeah. Marla? Marla? Marla is correct, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Used in his studies of efficiency and income distribution, which Italian economist gives his name? Corpus Christi Venkatesh. Pareto. Pareto is right. <laughs> Dangerous buzz, but effective. Your bonuses <laughs> now are on federal public holidays in the USA. Which US holiday was first observed nationally in 1986 and takes place annually on the third Monday of January? Oh, yeah, that sounds all right. Martin Luther King Day? Correct. The Columbus Day national holiday takes place each year on the second Monday of which month? Somewhere in the summer. May. Yeah? May? No, it's October. Falling on the first Monday in September, what name is given to the national holiday that honours workers and recognises their contribution to society? Labour Day. Correct. Four and a half minutes ago, ten points for this. <laughs> to make the king absolute in his kingdom in order to establish therein order. These words refer to the political programme of which cardinal? Corpus Christi Venkatesh. Richelieu. Richelieu is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on Homer's Odyssey, Corpus Christi. In each case, name the character from the description. Firstly, the sea nymph, whose name means she who conceals, at the start of the poem, Odysseus is her captive. Calypso. Correct. The daughter, secondly, of King Alcinous. Her name means burner of ships. In book six, she gives Odysseus clothes to wear when he's shipwrecked. Nominate Johnson. Nazakaya. Yes. And finally, the one-eyed giant, whose name means abounding in songs and legends. In Book Nine, he imprisons Odysseus and his men. It's just Cyclops. I don't know. I, Cyclops, the only name I know. Cyclops? No, it's Polyphemus. Oh. Ten points for this. 
Originally estimated at 500 kilometers per second per megaparsec, what eponymous two-word term is used for the expansion rate of the universe? Corpus Christi Wright. Hubble constant. The Hubble constant is right. You get a set of bonuses now on the 1975 film Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Firstly, a co-director of the film, which actor's on-screen roles include Sir Bedivere, Dennis's mother and Prince Herbert? Uh, is, that, is it going to be Terry Jones? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he played yeah. Terry Jones. Terry Jones? Correct. Which actor's roles in the film include first Swamp Castle Guard, Roger the Shrubber and Sir Robin Not-Quite-So-Brave as Sir Lancelot? <laughs> John Cleese. Yeah. John Cleese? No, it's Eric Idle. And finally, which actor's roles include Sir Lancelot the Brave, the Black Knight, and Taunting French Guard? That's John Cleese. That is John Cleese. Two and a half minutes ago, ten points from this. In the periodic table, what letter denotes the block of elements that consists of the lanthanides and actinides? Corpus Christi Venkatesh. T. No, Lane, I'd like to buzz from Jesus. Jesus, Morris Clark. You. No, it's F. Right, ten points at stake for this starter question. Born 1943, which US economist's works include globalization and its discontents? Ah. Jesus Morris Clark. Stiglitz. Stiglitz is correct, Joseph Stiglitz. <laughs> Your bonuses, Jesus, you may be pleased to know, are on inorganic chemistry. The identification of many metals often relies on distinctively colored precipitates formed with hydroxide. What color is observed with the following metals? Firstly, copper. Green. Green. Yeah. No, I didn't. Green? No, it's blue. Secondly, iron three or ferric ions. They're different. Three and four are different. One's red and one's black. Red. Correct. And finally, calcium. White. Isn't it just white? Yeah. White? Correct. Well done. <laughs> Right, ten points at stake for this article. question. The title of The Towers of Silence in Paul Scott's Raj Quartet alludes to the funerary traditions of which religion where vultures disposed of the dead? Jesus Morris Clark. Zoroastrianism? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Good guess if it was. Your bonuses are on the darker recesses of the Oxford English Dictionary, specifically terms that refer to the eating habits of animals. Firstly, what word describes an animal that feeds mainly on fruit? Um, Pass. It's frugivorous or fructivorous. Secondly, as indicated by the term's Latin origin, what chiefly constitutes the diet of a baxivore? A frequently cited example is the thrush. Worms? No, it's berries. What insects are eaten by a formivore? Worms. No, it's ants. Ten points for this. The Principles of Psychology is a work of 1890 by which US pragmatic philosopher, also noted for the variety... Corpus Christi Fleet. William James. William James is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on literary figures and at the gong. Jesus College, Cambridge, have 175. Corpus Christi College, Oxford, have 200. Bad luck, Jesus College, but I would guess 175 might well be good enough to come back as one of the four highest scoring losing teams from this first round, but we might see you again, I hope so. Uh, Corpus Christi, congratulations. You had the lead, you lost the lead, you regained it. Well done. We'll look forward to seeing you in round two. I hope you can join us next time, but until then, it's goodbye from Jesus College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from Corpus Christi College, Oxford. Bye. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.